All right, Winning Wednesday. We counting on down. This is like day three, two more days, and we'll be in uh, 2016. Are you ready? I'm going to keep asking you, are you ready? Because it's coming whether you're ready or not. And so I hope that you are taking these steps to get yourself lined up and in position. Because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you have the choice. Your life, whether you want to admit it or not, is a sum total of your thoughts and decisions in regarding to life. It doesn't have anything to do with your circumstances or necessarily really your experiences, but your reaction to life and what it gives to you. So today, not necessarily any homework, but I want you to really think on what does success look like to you? Yesterday, I defined it as Earl Nightingale does, is success is the one that is progressively realizing a worthwhile idea. Or, in other words, a person that sets out to do a predetermined job and gets it done. So what does success look like for you? Now, a few years ago, success looked like for me, for those that don't know my story, is I was in the legal arena for 34 years in the real estate for 10. My health failed and um, I'm rebuilding now. I'm a business owner and um, I'm still aggressively, aggressively, progressively, do you feel me? I am aggressively, progressively realizing a worthwhile ideal. Because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you just sit back and conform and just settle, then, you know, you're really kind of letting life live you. But I'm challenging you to take charge. You live life. You know, think about what is success for you? Would it be waking up in a house, in a villa, on a boat? You know, would you have servants? Would you be alone? Would you be married? You know, what would success look like to you? So, you know, you need to get that really clear. And if you notice, you see I left my vision board up here because I hope that you are actually have your vision board um, down somewhere on a piece of paper or online so that you can readily look at it. Because what you think about, you know, it'll become so knit with emotion to where you actually believe it, that it's real, and just it's just the law, principle, you will attain it. And so make sure that you, your goals, you know, don't overload yourself, but we're going to make some hefty goals, and then we'll chunk them down into smaller steps. But your number one homework is to figure out what success looks like for you, and what is your goal? And then you're going to email me. Stop over at partnerwithjt.com. You're going to email me for an appointment. And we're going to sit down together and assess your skill set and decide what together, what would be best for you to do in 2016. Because ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're 50 plus, you are a urn of wisdom. And the world is waiting Matter of fact, the world will pay you for sharing that valuable information because you are uniquely and authentically, and I'm going to be preaching in a minute, but you are wonderfully and magnificently made in the creator's image, and you too can create. So don't let go of that imagination, but think, you know, what does success look like? Where would I be? What would I do? What is it? What are the different smells? What are the sounds? You know, take some time and do that, you know, after your meditation so that you can really have it at the forefront of your mind, in which case it'll be at the forefront of your life. And before you know it, you'll have it manifest. So, okay, so on day three, um, Wednesday, December 30th, lining ourselves up for um, 2016, we've decolored our house, we've set up our vision and our goals, and now we're going to determine what success looks like for us. And so I'll see you by tomorrow, God's grace, and we'll discuss the
the last and final steps to take before we enter 2016. If you enjoyed this, thanks for watching. I want you to subscribe for more and definitely come back for the remainder of the series. And if you did enjoy it, share it with someone else. All right. Well, thank you for watching. God bless you and be well. You matter.